This episode is about a name that's been applied to some very different things throughout Transformers history. But as always, the basics on Star Saber starts at the beginning. The original Star Saber was leader of the Autobots from the Japanese exclusive series Transformers Victory. Released in 1989, his toy consisted of the small robot Saber, who transformed into a fighter jet, and the weapons platform the V-Star, with which Saber combined to become Star Saber. Star Saber was a brain master, a kind of transformer who could transfer their consciousness into a smaller robot body. This small figure, known as the Brain of Courage, rode in Saber's cockpit in vehicle mode and fitted inside his chest in robot mode, sliding up to form his robot face. Star Saber could also combine with his fellow Autobot Victory Leo to become Victory Saber. As seen in the Victory cartoon, Star Saber was the Autobot Supreme Commander of the year 2025 and leader of the Galactic Defense Force formed by the Autobots and their various alien allies. He was the greatest swordsman in the universe who loved justice and peace, roaring into action with a cry of his catchphrase. This The series followed Star Saber as he and the Autobots defended the Earth against the forces of his old rival Decepticon commander Deathsaurus, who sought the planet's energy to reactivate his planet-destroying fortress, which Star Saber had trapped in the Dark Nebula years beforehand. All while raising his adopted human son, Jan Minakaze, who Star Saber had taken in after the deaths of the boy's parents at the Decepticon's hands. Star Saber also appeared in the direct-to-video special Transformers Zone the following year, in which he was badly wounded in the destruction of the planet Feminia and stepped down as Supreme Commander to be succeeded by Die Atlas. Star Saber has remained a popular character in his native Japan over the last 30 years, where several new toys of him have been released, with tie-in media that saw him battle alongside other Autobot commanders from throughout history in both 2004's Robot Masters and 2013's Transformers GT. Most recently, Japanese fans voted for him to get a figure in the high-end, collector-targeted Masterpiece toy line in 2015. Conversely, Star Saber hasn't gained a lot of traction with Western audiences. He served as partial inspiration for the Transformers Energon character Wing Saber, but no toys of Star Saber himself have ever been released in the United States. A super deformed Robot Heroes figure planned for 2008 was cancelled, and though he was one of the candidates when Hasbro held a fan poll of their own in 2017 for the Power of the Primes toy line, he lost to Optimus Primal. Outside of toys, he made a barely visible cameo in Transformers Animated, and while he has appeared more prominently in IDW Publishing's comic books, the IDW version of Star Saber was a very different character from the Japanese original. Inspired by fan works from the 1990s that reinvented the character as a brutal dictator, writer James Roberts decided to make Star Saber a villain a religious fanatic who served as enforcer for the Autobots' deranged Chief Justice Tyrist during his insane quest to slaughter all of Cybertron's sinners. Initially defeated in combat by Cyclonus, Star Saber would later return for a rematch, but Cyclonus made short work of him. Different as his IDW incarnation was, the comics do seem to have increased Star Saber's profile in the Western world. Since his IDW debut, he's been featured in several mobile games, and an action figure based on his IDW design is in the works from Flame Toys. But still, Western audiences are more likely to recognize the name Star Saber as that of an actual sword rather than an Autobot. There have been two especially famous blades to bear this name, the first of which was introduced in 2002's Transformers Armada. The Armada Star Saber was the combined form of the three members of the Air Defense Minicon team, Runway, Jetstorm, and Sonar, and could be wielded by the other figures in the Armada toy line. In the Armada cartoon, the Star Saber was one of a trio of powerful Minicon weapons created by the monster planet Unicron, which when united would reawaken him from hibernation. 
The hunt for the three Star Saber minicons formed the backbone of the cartoon's first story arc, which culminated in the young Autobot Hotshot acquiring the sword. But thanks to the manipulations of Unicron's servant Sideways, it soon fell into Decepticon hands, where it went on to be alternately wielded by Megatron and Starscream. The Decepticons combined the three weapons to create the devastating Hydra Cannon, until Sideways stole them and used them to revive his master. The Air Defense Team toys were also recolored to create the Air Assault Team, who together formed the Dark Saber. Now, in Japanese markets, and hence in the cartoon since it was produced in Japan, the Dark Saber was a separate weapon that existed alongside the Star Saber, wielded by Nemesis Prime. But in Hasbro's markets, the Dark Saber and the Star Saber were considered to be the same weapon, which simply changed colour when in the hands of an evil wielder. This effect was seen in the Armada comic book, in which the ability to combine into the Star Saber was forced upon the air defence team via surgical alteration performed by Megatron, who used the weapon to slay the Galvatron of another dimension. Kid-sized electronic roleplay toys of both the Star Saber and the Dark Saber were also available in the Armada toy line, and the Nemesis Prime figure released in the Power of the Primes line in 2018 came with its own Dark Saber accessory. But the power of the Armada Star Saber paled in comparison to the second sword to bear the name, which was introduced in stories from the Transformers Collectors Club in 2009. This blade was the personal weapon of Prima, the first Transformer from the ancient days of Cybertron, mighty enough to extinguish stars. To keep it out of the hands of Prima's evil brother Megatronus, the sword was shattered into five pieces which were scattered across different dimensions by Nexus Prime. Nexus embarked on a quest to recover the pieces in 2009, but then didn't reappear until 2015, having successfully gathered the pieces in between stories. Using the reassembled Star Saber, Nexus saved the multiverse from an evil Mirror Universe version of Ultra Magnus. Now, this significant gap in the club's story was because Hasbro themselves wanted to tell their own unique version of Nexus Prime and the Star Saber's story in their new aligned continuity, and they didn't want any overlap. In Hasbro's version of the tale, told mostly in the 2012 novel Transformers Exiles, it was explained that the sword was one of several artifacts of power forged by Solus Prime and that the Autobot Matrix of Leadership had once rested upon its hilt. Legend claimed that, as in the club stories, the Star Saber had been broken into five pieces and scattered across the universe by Nexus Prime. But when Optimus Prime embarked on a quest to locate the pieces, his search led only to some of Solus's other creations, with the Saber's fate remaining a mystery. But it wasn't a mystery for long. The same year, the Transformers Prime animated series revealed that, in truth, the Saber had been secreted on Earth by Alpha Trion to await the day that Optimus Prime would need it. After Prime recovered the sword, Megatron forged his own Dark Star Saber from Dark Energon to counter its powers. The Star Saber was shattered by its Dark counterpart but Optimus was able to use Solus Prime's Forge Hammer to reforge the sword, which Bumblebee then used to end Megatron's life. Numerous toys of the Aligned Star Saber were released in the Prime toy line, and it also featured in the version of the original Prime story seen in IDW Publishing's comic books. The Dark Star Saber, meanwhile, returned in 2015's Robots in Disguise cartoon, recovered from the bottom of the ocean by a group of Decepticon scavengers, and wielded by Starscream until his defeat at the hands of the Autobots. Though it might mean different things to different audiences, be they American or Japanese, whether belonging to a sword or a swordsman, the name Star Saber is synonymous with greatness and power. To bear it is to be one of the mightiest warriors in the Transformers universe. Pera, 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 pera! Não vai embora ainda não, galera. Antes do final do vídeo, eu sempre indico algum canal parceiro aqui do Nova Cybertron. Então fortalece aí, clica lá no vídeo que a gente vai colocar no cardzinho, que sempre tem alguma coisa a ver com esse episódio que você está assistindo no momento, 
ou a gente está fazendo uma divulgação para fortalecer algum canal amigo. Dá essa força aí, um abraço. And those are the basics on the many and varied Star Sabers. Tell me in the comments what the name Star Saber means to you. Subscribe for more from the world of the Transformers and click that bell while you're down there to be notified of new episodes. And if you're in a position to, please consider supporting the show on Patreon.